offended by the word nigga in it? Why? Why? <laughs> Where'd that come from? Did I say that? I... He's Sorry. like possessed. <laughs> No, it's just that there's a big flap in various parts of the country where people want that you know, great you American novel that, taken yeah. off the shelves because the word nigger, nigger Jim is a character. I it, thought it, you were saying the very parts of the, various parts of the country that, where they enjoy hearing someone say that on television. No, 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 and no. This no. is cable. It's no, like I was sitting in Memphis like this. I like that, Kevin. What? <laughs> Nigger right in front of me. I don't like this. Nigger sitting two inches away. He's just looking at oh. <clears throat> No. <laughs> no, I, I, you know me better than that. I mean, the fact that I've done shows with George Wallace, the Le uh, Lester Maddox, and yet we're friends, and I think that's what America's all about. Mm -hmm. Is that right, folks? <laughs> I've always wanted to see that on a show, you know, no applause. I, mean, I think this is one of the great countries and that parents should spend more time with their children. Isn't that right, folks? And nothing, no applause. But um, I, I did a show once you'd have enjoyed because uh, I guess it was a bit less dramatic than a famous racist walked off the show because he felt that I had insulted him and the people of Georgia. And the fact that Jim Brown and Truman Capote were the other two guests may have had something to do yeah, with Lester this Yeah, Lester Jim Brown and Truman Capote. Yeah, that was a good thing. <laughs> Three the hard way. <laughs> I wonder how old you were when that was on. That would have been 73. Um, and I was born 61. I was yeah. 12. You probably weren't watching my show every night. Not a drop.